Well, you join me on the banks of one of my favourite little day ticket waters, Winterly Pool Fisheries. I'm here to show you this. This is the brand new Deeper Start. I've had it for quite a while now. And in the Deeper Boys, I actually met them at the Northern Angling Show back in February of this year. A uh, short while after that, they sent me one of the first ones out, one of the Deeper Starts. I've had it since then. Been using it quite a bit, to be fair. Um, and this is the first time I've had a chance to get it on camera for you guys. I've used it on sessions where I've done vlogs and stuff like that, but I haven't shown it. Saved it until this moment to give you a bit of a rundown about it and tell you why I like it so much. The new Deeper Starts are much cheaper, easier, simpler fish finders than the old Deeper Pro Pluses and the old Deepers and things like that. It comes like this, that's how it comes. It comes with an orange case on it, um, all one unit. You don't need to take it apart to charge it. Underneath it, it's got a little magnetic charging port. So you just plug it in, charge away from your USB, from your power packs or your plugs at home or anything like that. Dead easy and dead simple little unit. Triangular in shape, a little bit different than the round one. I think it flows better in the water and it's actually easier to use. Weight wise, a little bit lighter as well. This is weighing in at two and a half ounces, which is exactly why I'm using this rod to show it to you. I'm using my new little bait caster rod with 20 pound braid on and my wire trace with a deeper start on the end. I'm going to be using the deeper start all autumn and winter for my carp fishing and for my lure fishing as well. Uh, lure fishing especially, it's dead easy just to clip it onto your wire trace, have a look around the area, stick a lure on when you found the fish and off you go. So it's a lot lighter than the old one, slightly smaller as well, which means it's easy to cast with lighter rods uh, and just as easy to cast with bigger rods as well, your spot and marker rods, things like that, or your general fishing rods. I was using it earlier in the year on my 10 footers with 12 pound mainline on, and then I've been using it all summer as well on my 12 foot fishing rods and my spot and marker rod also. Um, cast like a dream, absolutely beautiful. Works off Wi Fi, so the connection is really good. I've been using it up to an around sort of 80 yards, something like that. Uh, I don't generally fish much further than that, but I'm sure you can get it out a bit further than that if you if you knew how to cast properly. So, great little bit of kit. Price point is quite a bit cheaper than the Deep Pro Plus. I don't know off the top of my head exactly what it is, I apologise, but it is a fair bit cheaper than the Pro Plus. So, not only is it a great entry level fish finder, but it's also comparable to the actual Pro. You know, it's it'll do just the same job. There are a couple of differences we'll get onto with the app in a short while. It uses exactly the same app as all the other deeper fish finders, so if you've already got the app, it'll work off that as well. A couple of differences that you'll find on the app when you start it up and you connect your deeper start, you haven't got all the settings that you've got there with the Pro Plus, you can't change the frequencies or anything like that. Um, once you put it out there, it is what it is, you can't change any settings, it'll show you exactly what you're seeing. Now, on the deeper Pro Plus, it'll show you what the actual lake bed is made up of, whether it's silty, hard, weedy, and things like that. With the deeper start, it doesn't. It just shows you where the lake bed is. So it'll give you an orange baseline at the bottom, shows you where the lake bed is. Won't tell you what it's made up of, but it'll show you the contours and the depths, which is more perfect for me, to be fair. I literally use mine to find the depth of an area or to find the fish. Um, I'll use a lead after that to see what the bottom of the lake bed's made up of, and I'll fish on it if I'm happy with the spot. We've got a couple of screenshots here to show you from when I was fishing down at Nash Lakes Royston. I used the deeper start there to find the fish and find the depth of the water as well. And as you can see from the images, it's sort of 17, 18 foot, somewhere around that. And all the fish were holding mid-water column. Now you can see from the pictures that the small icons and large icons, you can't always say what the fish are, but the small icons are generally your smaller fish. So there was a lot of rud in that water. Bigger icons could be the carp. I fished in that water column halfway up where you can see the fish and I had two carp out. Uh, both sort of mid doubles, but I wouldn't have caught them without the help of the deeper start and that is a true testament to what this can be used for. Right on cue, it's just started to throw it down as well, so we'll get us in the water as quickly as we can and give you a bit of a demonstration with it. Really easy to use, really nice to cast. As I say, I'm using a little bait caster rod. This is a 15 to 40 gram bait caster rod, 20 pound braid on and a wire trace. Dead easy, dead simple, casts like a dream. So here we are then bit of a break in the rain so we can get some casting done on my phone as i said before download the deeper app from the play store or the app store open it up like that and it's a standard deeper profile on the app you can open the settings but it says their advanced settings are only available in deeper pro or deeper pro plus as i said before so it literally gives you all that you need to see the depth of the water what the lake bed looks like it will show bars and things like that and if there's any fish there as well so it's a really quick really easy little snapshot into what's going on under the water if you like so i'm going to cast this out 
and we'll have a look what it's like. So here we go then, just give it a little bit of a flick out. I've got the app loaded up ready in this hand. I'm not going to cast it out far, just to give you a demonstration of how it looks on the actual screen itself. I'm just going to flick it out and see what it's telling us. As you can see there, even with this light rod, it casts really nicely. I'm only flicking out a little way, but obviously you can see that you can give it a little bit more. Same with all the deepers, rear it in nice and slowly. You find your own sort of pace with it once you start to use one. Moves across the surface of the water really, really nicely because it's got that triangular shape. It sort of cuts through the water a lot better than the round one. And there you go. It's already picked up one fish. I'm going to angle my phone screen so you can see it a little bit easier and then you can have a look at exactly how it looks on the screen. And uh, you never know, might have another cast to pick up another couple of fish. So there we go then. Just cast out. As you can see already, it's picked up a fish straight away. Showing the depth there, the top right, 4.9 foot, 4.7 foot. And that sharp line there is the recast. So that's where I've just recast out and that's where it starts again from. So I'm not moving the, lure, the uh, deeper at all now. As you can see, the bar's still moving across. And it's just holding on the spot that I've got it over at the minute. It's slightly drifting with the wind, but not really. So if I keep on reeling now, there you go, you can see the depth changing. Just the one fish this time. Let's give it one more cast, let's see what happens. So we've gone a little bit further left this time, and there's your sharp line where the recast is. You can see it moving over there, 4.7. Ah, there's a fish, there you go. Now that could be any size fish. Could be a small rud, could be a roach, could be a perch, could be anything. Used to be a bit of a shoal just there. Definitely a spot for the drop shot, that one. That's only about 20 yards in front of me, so I'm assuming it's not a car. There you go. You can see how the bottom is literally just a solid orange line. Coming into me, coming up the marginal shelf now. There we go. That's right in at the edge. So that there is the deeper start. A little bit of an insight for you into what it looks like on the, on the screen and how it works in the water as well. I've had a deeper Pro Plus myself and Chris from work both share one and I don't use that anymore. I use this one. I'm not saying the deeper Pro Plus is useless now this is out. Everyone prefers different ones. I just prefer this for the type of use that I use it for. Just seeing how deep it is and literally just trying to find the fish in the colder months and things like that. I think it's absolutely perfect and it won't break the bank either, which is absolutely spot on. But that's it from me for now. So please check out your local retailer, check out the deeper website, do a bit more research on the start if you think it's something that might suit your fishing. Keep your eye on my channel as well because during the colder months this year I'll be using the deeper start with my lure rod trying to catch some perch and some pike from the cold water and trying to see if this will aid me in finding the fish and catching more than I would do without it. So keep your eyes open for that. For the time being that's it from me, I'll see you on the bank soon.